Hi everyone, welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi, welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this braised pork belly or kong bai as we call it. Um, Cause we want to make into this uh, braised pork belly bun, so we need to do this. All right. Um, of course, as the name suggests, we need pork belly. Okay. I'll be adding in the muscle meat also because my wife don't like too fatty of meat. For spices, we need star anise, about two pieces of them. Cinnamon bark, about five pieces. A handful of white pepper, about 15 pieces of clove, and a piece of rock sugar. I have with me also three bobs of uh, garlic which I have cleaned up already. We will need dark soy sauce. I'm using the chicken rice dark soy sauce because this is not very salty and I just like the love the coloring of this. We will need some um, light soy sauce also, as well as Chinese rice wine. Okay, I'll show you the step on how to do it. So the first step what we're going to do is we're going to put this um, add coloring to the pork. So I'm just having an empty basin and I'm going to put all the pork in as well as the muscle meat. Okay, so what I do is I just pour generously the dark soy sauce into here to let them absorb into the meat so that the coloring will be nice. I've cut the pork into pieces like this so that they will actually uh, soften up very easily or tenderize easily and will be cooked easily also. Okay, that's about it. Let's just use the hand and massage them in. This is a must-have dish that we um, do on the first day of Chinese New Year for all our guests. Uh, we have a pork. I think close to 40 of them coming over, relatives and friends. And this one of their favorite dish and it's a must have for every Chinese New Year. Be careful while you're doing this, don't uh, dirty yourself up. Huh? Once you see that they are evenly coated, it's about done. While you're doing this, you can also heat up the pot so that later you're going to fry all the spices and let the uh, fragrance come out. Okay, let's just leave this as it is over here. Now that the pot is uh, heated up nicely, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. This is for frying the spices and the garlic. Put all the garlic in. Put all the spices in except the Box this one. Okay, so well, if you if the place where you are from, um, there's no readily available um, cinnamon bar, star anise, or clove. What you can do is you can go to any Chinese grocery stores and ask for five spice powder. They work the same also. Alright, we can just actually smell the spices as well as the garlic. So it's about time to put in the pot. Like Is to put in approximately about um, two cup of uh, Chinese rice wine, uh, which is about approximately about probably about half a bottle of this. About half a bottle of this. Now well, the reason why I'm putting this in is because we will have to eliminate the. Uh, I mean the pocky smell, if you know what I mean. Oh, 
The progress is unbelievable. Okay, next, we're gonna add in approximately about two cups of dark soy sauce. After that, we'll just top it up with water to cover all the meat. Let us just stir around a little bit first. You can see how beautiful the color is. You can use lesser dark soy sauce if you want to, but the color would not be so nice. Okay, so now let's fill up with water. Enough water to cover the meat, that'll be fine. Now we add in the rock, su rock sugar. We're just going to open pot and um, let it boil. When it boils, just cover it up and simmer for 45 minutes and after that you just taste the gravy or the sauce inside there. If it's not salty enough, you can always add more soya sauce or salt into it. Alright, so now let's just wait for it to boil. Now this is the end result of the braised uh, pork belly. Alright. It's soft and tender, so let's just try the gravy to make sure that the saltiness and the sweetness is up to standard. Ah, sweetness is there, but I think I can do a little bit of a saltiness, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more of the soy sauce, perhaps approximately about two tablespoons, and we are good to go. Now, uh, I'm also making some hard boiled egg, which I'll remove the meat and then I'll just add in the egg later so that you can actually, this is a very versatile sauce, you can keep the sauce after eating the meat and use it to braise chicken, duck or any meat or even your eggs or so. So okay, this is done. I've removed the some of the gravy into this small pot and I'm going to thicken them to, to um, put it over the, the meat itself. So I'm just going to slowly thicken it. The consistency that I like. I'm going to boil a little first. This is done so when you put the gravy on top of the meat, it will look very shining and glimmering. This will look fantastic. Yep, I think that's about it. So let's go and plate it. So, this is called the sauce. What they need. You can see how appetizing they look after the sauce is poured over it. Right? Okay, so a tiny bit more, and we are about done. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Brace pork belly meat or kong bao. I hope you enjoy our video. Um, click like if you like it and do subscribe to our channel. Till next time, thank you.